put some sexy white labels and slip mats on the 1200s. Everything is hooked up now. We must turn on our laptop and see what happens. Found new hardware. Rain Serato uh, Scratch Live Incorporated 2004. Found new hardware. Serato USB device. Now we might have to install this. Let's see what happens. There we go. Welcome to the found new hardware wizard. We would like to install the software automatically by clicking next. Please wait while the wizard searches. Searching for drivers right now. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. This server is not digitally signed. And it's asking us, uh, do we care? We don't care. Next. The software you are installing is for the hardware Serato USB device. Continue away. And it pops up and it says... The file Serato USB sys on Serato USB install disk is needed. Type the path where the file is located and then click OK. Well, I know where it is. It's in hardware, or software rather, program files Serato. So we need to find it. We need to find this particular file. We want to look in C Program Files. Serato. Drivers, XP for my computer, SSL, Serato USB. Okay. Completing the found new hardware wizard. The wizard has finished installing software for Serato USB device. Click finish to close this wizard. Finish. And we're all set. Found new hardware. Your new hardware is installed and ready to use. Everything appears to have installed successfully, so let's go ahead and open up the Scratch Live icon on your desktop. Double click it, and boom, there we have it. Serato Scratch Live. The first thing we need to do is go into our setup menu right here. You have a little box here and a little box here. Take a Serato Scratch Live vinyl. These guys, remember these? Put it on your turntable. Just like that. Start a record up. Throw the needle on the record. Now you hear that tone? Right up here on our mixing board, remember how we plugged into phono and line? We need to switch our fader 1 and fader 2 to the line position on both of them. All right, now, look at that box again. You see that goofy oval? What we need to do is make that oval round in the center to the best of our ability. We have a left and right balance here we can do that with, and we have a PA balance we can do it with over here. That looks like a pretty good circle to me. It's not absolutely 100% perfect, but that's a pretty good circle. 
and I think that's kind of what you're looking for is the best circle you can and that's the circle in the center. Now you need to do the same thing with your other phonograph. See how that's all wacky? This is about balancing out the turntables as far as the program is concerned. Make the best circles you can. When you get the best circles that you can make using the left and right balance and the PA balance, then you're ready to go. Okay, now it's time to play because in the first video that I did way back in April, we went ahead and installed the software initially. We also uh, added some music, built some crates, and built some overviews. So that's all been done. If you didn't see it, go back and watch the first video. Now it's time just to have a little bit of fun with our turntables. So uh, let's do it. Practice and enjoy. And if you got any questions, write down here in the comments. I'll try my best to answer them for you. So, yeah, practice and enjoy.